One of the stated disadvantages for offering online courses is that would-be students do not get face-to-face -face interaction and may lack a connection to the instructor, the course content, and with other students. In order to address this issue, it's important to seek out technological and pedagogical approaches that could optimize the learning experience for online students. In this brief video, we will discuss strategies that instructors can use to create a welcoming environment for their online students. We will begin by explaining the importance of reaching out and welcoming students to an online course. Part of that welcoming process is establishing a connection and providing information that gives students a better sense of what the course is about and by sharing its purpose and goals. And finally, we will describe strategies for welcoming students. So, why is it important to reach out and welcome students to an online course? Initially, a course consists of students who are new to the subject matter and may be unfamiliar with the instructor as well as with other students enrolled in the course. At first, everyone in the course may be a group of strangers. Given that there may be little to no opportunity to meet in a physical location, it is important to address any sense of isolation that students new to the online learning environment may be experiencing. Welcoming students can be an important first step in converting strangers to members of a community. Welcoming students can be beneficial by providing a clear purpose and description of the course in the initial attempt at connecting with them. This is an opportunity to close the information gap, as well as share expectations at the very beginning. The instructor may even ask students to reflect on how the course might relate to them. Reaching out and welcoming students increases the likelihood of students getting off to an early start in the course, understanding the set of expectations, and nurturing a community of learners. Students may observe that the instructor is willing to go above and beyond to ensure that they feel welcomed and inspired to join the course community and begin participating. Setting a welcoming tone early in the semester is essential to establishing a healthy relationship where being part of a community of learners is the predominant feeling. This can also establish instructor presence, a key predictor of student success. So let us review some strategies for welcoming students to an online course. There are strategies that occur before the course even begins, strategies very early in the course, and strategies that continue to be implemented as the course proceeds. Sending out a welcome message as both an announcement in the course and an email message before the course is scheduled to begin can be an effective initial point of contact. By making the course available early, up to one week, the course may stand out from other online courses students may be enrolled in, but will not open until the first day of the semester. Students welcome to a course with an earlier opening may be encouraged to explore the course website and review the syllabus and schedule. The instructor can ask students to record a video introducing themselves using Kaltura or Flipgrid. Both technologies are free and Kaltura is integrated with Blackboard. Students using Flipgrid can also reply to each other by recording a video message to their fellow students promoting interaction. These video introductions are viewable by all class members, not just the instructor. Another way of setting a welcoming tone, indeed even before sending the welcome announcement and email, is in the design of the course. By having a consistent and logical flow, students can feel a greater sense of calm as they are able to more easily locate the various components of the course, and consequently be better able to focus on the instruction. You may notice in this example that there are links to a number of items that promote a welcoming tone, including a welcome page, your instructor, the syllabus and course information, and student support. Some important components in the welcome page include the course description, which provides a big picture view of the course. Also, a list of the course objectives to better orient students. Another welcoming component is a statement on accessibility, for students with a disability and how they can seek out accommodations where appropriate. The statement recognizes the institution's commitment to ensuring equal access to course content. Instructors may also wish to include a statement on equity, inclusion, and diversity in the course interface and syllabus. Creating a Welcome to the Course video is another opportunity to establish social presence. It can assuage student concerns about learning in an online setting particularly the one about feelings of isolation. The video should be short and engaging, 
include expectations for behavior and participation, and any special instructions or requirements, such as attending virtual class meetings, or that online office hours will provide students an opportunity to have their questions answered. Instructors may want to highlight a welcome page, which can contain a Start Here resource that shows students exactly how to get started in the course. If an instructor is considering creating a Welcome to the Course video, it's recommended to create a script or outline of what will be shared. A related item is the instructor introduction video. While the course welcome video focused on the course primarily, the instructor introduction focuses on the teacher. This can support efforts to humanize the course and establish an instructor presence. This is an opportunity for the instructor to show their personality, share a bit about their educational background, areas of research interest, and perhaps some personal information such as a place of birth or long-time hobbies such as music, gardening, or fitness. The instructor can also describe their interest in the subject matter of the course and why they believe students should care about it. Whenever recording, it's important to take time to practice, use visual aids whenever possible, make eye contact by looking directly at the camera, and speak with enthusiasm. If your course is entirely online, another way to establish a welcoming tone is to offer students online office hours, maybe more than once a week. This can take place in a web conferencing app such as Blackboard Collaborate, Microsoft Teams, or Adobe Connect. If more than one student is in a session and privacy is requested, the instructor can meet with the student in a separate breakout room while other students remain in the main room. Another option to facilitate students' familiarity with the course is to create a web tour video demonstrating how to navigate the course interface. This can be done using the screencasting or screen recording feature available in Kaltura, which is integrated with Blackboard. This will require preparation, developing a script, and practice. Another option is to create an area where students can asynchronously connect, welcoming students to leave comments that are not necessarily related to course content, just as they might in a face-to-face -face setting before the class session begins. This social space might take the form of a non-graded discussion board. The instructor can encourage participation. Students who are new to NIU or new to online teaching may be unaware of a host of available student support resources. By including links to relevant resources in your Blackboard course, students can more easily access services if they are needed. Once again, by removing barriers, the perception of the course becomes one of a welcoming environment. Finally, depending on how an instructor designs their online course, new material can be revealed by week, chapter, section, or module. This is yet another welcoming opportunity by recording a video introducing students to new material through a brief description or outline, listing module objectives, assigned readings and assessments, and encouraging students to attend the live synchronous session or review recorded lectures. The instructor can remind students to stop by the virtual office hour or contact them by email or phone if they have any questions. Thank you for joining this discussion of various strategies to welcome students to your online course. If you are affiliated with NIU, please feel free to contact the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning.